Welcome to the video where I uncover the 100% true history of Geometry Dash. Today we will look both at the small beginnings of Geometry Dash as well as its rise to popularity in the recent months. With that said, let's jump right into it. Geometry Dash 1.0 Only featuring 7 levels and 2 portals, the game started small. Its levels introduced Stereo Madness, Back on Track, Polar Geist, Dry Out, Base After Base, Can't Let Go, and Jumper. At first, many believed that Geometry Dash was only a copy of its previous title, The Impossible Game, as shown below. The levels of Geometry Dash appear quite similar to The Impossible Game, however their differences were in the level editor. The developer, Rob Top Games, worked hard to create a game far superior to The Impossible Game. Day and night, Robot Games produced update after update. In update 1.1, Rob Top Studios introduced a new level called Time Machine. In updates 1.2 and 1.3, Nintendo added a new game mode, called Ball Mode, as well as a leaderboard system in which you could compare the stars you worked hard to earn to other Geometry Dash players. As updates continued, Frog Top Games added more and more features, such as UFO Mode, as well as different speeds to allow gameplay to speed up or down. As we approach 1.9, rumors spread among the Geometry Dash community. A new talented effect creator, unseen by anyone before, is about to enter the Geometry Dash stage. He goes by the name of Etzer. Other creators were soon to follow, like Triaxis, Surpunch, Galvatron, and more. Those who did not create levels beat demons and gained popularity that way. Challengers such as Riot and Nubas beat demons left and right. Every so often, in fact, Nubas managed to beat insane demons such as Sakopen Hell. It seemed that Nubas clicked so fast that the screen nearly slowed down. Nevertheless, 1.9 is referred to as the Golden Age by many scholars. In fact, during 1.9, China's GDP rose by 2% and scientists discovered the cure for rabies. 1.9 truly revolutionized the global agricultural system. Like everything good in the world, however, it shriveled up and died. Soon enough, the Great Geometry Dash Civil War of 1957 began. The two leaders, Viperin and Zenthic Alpha, led the two sides as they fought long and hard for territory on the leaderboards. In the end, Viperin prevailed and Zenthic seceded from the Union. Soon after, times began to change. Geometry Dash 2.1 came out and completely destroyed the game. The level editor was completely stripped from the game and the core mechanics and gameplay were completely redesigned. The game was riddled with bugs and soon enough faded into oblivion. Luckily, Robtop Games had a backup. He created a new smash hit game <laughs> known as Boomlings. <laughs> oh, fuck, that game sucks.